How's everybody doing today? Uh, we are blessed here in Mobile. Um, I want to talk a few minutes about, actually it's about health and about the gospel all at once. We have a, a blog, health blog. We also have a gospel blog, uh, truth24-7gospel.com and truth24-7health.com. Uh, then we also have a store for shopping for items, which is truth-ambassadors.myshopify.com. And it will be in the description box. But uh, what I'm going to uh, talk about today is both health and uh, the good news of gospel. You know, because it, it relates to both. Scripturally based, but at the same time it's scientific. And it's also uh, something that we need to focus on because of our health. So... Uh, Anyway, that's what we're going to talk about today. I uh, hope everybody's having a blessed day. We're having a blessed day already. Every day is blessed for us. I'm believing every day is blessed for you. Every day is a peaceful day. Every day is a calm day. No chaos and no drama. And as long as we stay home, my wife and I, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we go out into the world and we get out the chaos and drama. We don't like chaos and drama, so as long as we stay in, we're good. So, anyway... It's all good. But anyway, uh, the thoughts came to me about what I'm going to minister on from Dr. Carolyn Leaf's book. I'm going to hold the book up here. I got, I'm marking, trying to get my fingers out of here so I can show you the book without losing the place that I wanted to minister from the book to you on and then discuss it. But it's called Who Switched Off My Brain? Books maybe about mm, 15 years or so old now but by Dr. Carolyn Leaf, which is a South African uh, psychiatrist or a psychologist. Uh, excellent book. And uh, what it talks about in this book is, um, well, I'll, I'll read the full title. It says, Who Switched Off My Brain? Controlling Toxic Thoughts and Emotions. That's the full title. Controlling Toxic Thoughts and Emotions. And she is a Christian, spirit-filled Christian. And it's in line with, like I said, the gospel, the good news. But it's from a scientific point of view since she is a psychologist. Okay. But anyway, um, I started reading the book only because when I wrote my book, uh, Live to 120 Without Sickness or Disease, I was realizing when I was doing the research for it how much uh, what you eat not only affects your you know, your body or your body functions and all things, how it affects your brain, and as a result, your thoughts. And, you know, we wonder why there's so many angry young people today. You know, because they're living on McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's and in and out and, you know, you know, all these different fast foods. That's how they live. And some kids actually live on that day after day after day. So when you live like that and you eat like that, or you eat a lot of processed foods and packaged and or packaged foods from the store, then it affects your health and it affects your thoughts, believe it or not. So we wonder why people are so angry, not just young people, but a lot older people too. Very angry and, you know, a lot of domestic violence going on. So much going on, people just go off just like that, you know. You bump into somebody in the store and you say, I'm, I'm sorry, or excuse me, and they look at you like they're ready to kill you like, Excuse me, it's not good enough. I mean, what can you do? You can't take it back. So, I mean, but people are just like on the edge. They're ready to just pop off at any moment. And all of that's because of their thoughts. Their thought life is so jacked up because their brains are not getting the right nutrients. They can't focus. You know, so many young people in school, they can't focus on their work in school. They can't focus on their homework. They can't focus on their assignments. You know, all that is brain power, you know. It's all right up here. And a lot of it has to do with how we feed ourselves. Because the nutrients go to the brain. It helps us to think. It helps us to focus. helps us to remember things. You know, so it's very important that you eat properly. Okay, so enough of that. So what I'm going to, I think I lost my place anyway. I'm going to see if I can find it when I lost, took my finger out of the book. See if I can find it right quick. And then I'll go back to it. But anyway, our food does affect our thoughts, and then our thoughts affect our actions, and then from there, bow. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this this statement. This is a true statement. 
You think first, then you say, then you behave. So your behavior follows your what you say, and then what you say follows what you think. This is scientifically proven, okay? Not only from this book, but in other books also. So we think, we say, we act. Very important. We think, we say, we act. So if you don't think right, you're not going to say the right things. And if you don't say the right things, you're not going to behave your right way. Okay. So then the key goes all the way back to thinking. Okay. The scripture in Proverbs says, as a man thinketh, so is he. It's right in line with that scripture. God knew what he was saying when he said that, when he, when he, had, the, when he had the author say that in Proverbs. As a man thinketh, so is he. There's another scripture that says in the Matthews, 12th chapter of Matthew says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you think, you get it in your heart, you say it, and then you act. Okay, so it's, it's not only biblical, it's also scientific. Okay, it says, uh, I'm going to read a couple of things from this book and then I'll discuss them briefly. We won't be long, but anyway. So our behavior follows our thoughts, not the other way around. See, a lot of people think, that their behaviors did not follow their thoughts, but their thoughts follow their behavior. But your behavior follows your thoughts. Remember, you think, you say, you behave. Analyzing and addressing our thoughts are key components of conquering the habits and behaviors that seem to hold us in hostage. Okay, so you don't like your actions. You don't like what you do. You have to, you have to change what you say. Okay? And then you can only change what you say when you think differently because your words are going to follow your thought life. Have you ever been around people and you may have some people in your uh, family that curse all the time? I mean, every other word is a curse word. Okay? Because they think like that. They think like that, then they say and then they act out whatever they say. You know? Um, I try to distance myself from people like that because you know, you should be able to use the English language enough, if you speak English, to speak to someone without just cursing continuously. I've been around people that just curse all the time. And I'll say, please, I mean, I know you have a right to say what you want to say, but if you're going to be around me on a constant basis, you can't keep speaking like that because it offends me, you know. First of all, you're not saying what you need to say, and you're just substituting words. And a lot of people you notice that do curse a lot. They don't do much reading. They don't do much studying. So it's like... That's their vocabulary. Your vocabulary is based on what you have in your mind, what you know. So the more you read, the more you study, the more you know, the more articulate you'll be, the more words that you can speak, uh, the more you can define and say what you really believe. And then as a result of that, your behavior, your actions, and, and the opportunities will present themselves to you to take you out of your situation. So studying is very important. The Bible says study to show yourself approved unto God. Work when need not be ashamed. Being able to rightly divide the word of truth. That's in 2 Timothy. I think it's in uh, 1 7. It's 2.15, I think. Yeah, 2.15. But anyway, um, it's very important that you study. And then the Bible also tells us to renew our minds. Okay? And that's in Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3. Renew your mind so that you think like God thinks. If you think like God thinks, then you're going to speak like the Word says, then you're going to have what you say, what the Word says. We want blessings in our lives, say what the Word says, and blessings will flow. You say what the world says, and then curses follow. So it's, you know, it really just, it's common sense. But at the same time, uh, you know, um, a lot of people, a lot of people just don't really realize what's occurring or what's happening. Um, I'm going to read another statement here. It says, um, to demonstrate how this works, take a minute to focus on an upsetting recent event in your life. As you deeply think about this event, become aware of how you are feeling and how your body is reacting to these thoughts and emotions. A cascade of chemicals is being activated by rethinking and imagining the event. The more you ponder, the stronger and more vivid this cascade becomes. This is why it's so important to forget. Remember the Bible says, forgetting those things that are behind? You know, you, if you don't forget the past, the past will, be ever, will forever be your future and your present. 
because you're dragging your past into your parents because you keep rethinking those thoughts. And however you reacted to those thoughts when you first heard them, you're going to react to them this, today and tomorrow. So it's, it's almost like you can't get to your future because of the ball and chain of those thoughts that are holding you back from the past. And they slow you down. You know, if you have a ball and chain, you can't get anywhere very fast. Okay. So that's why a lot of people can't change their lives and they can't go into the future very well because they're dragging the past. This is why the Bible tells us all to also to forgive, forget and forgive if somebody's done something against you. Because if you don't, then it's going to be as though they did it to you that day you're thinking about it. And if you think about it next week, it's going to be like they did it to you that day that you're thinking about it. And then you keep reliving it, the emotions keep being relived, and you never can progress. And that's, that's why you have to forget things like that. And it goes on to say, you may, even be, may, you may even start to become angry. It's talking about thinking about those past thoughts all over again, frustrated or upset. You will start reacting to the thought mentally and physically as though it were happening all over again. That's what I just got to tell me. What you think about expands and grows. That means that if you focus on something, it's almost like a magnifying glass. You make it a bigger problem. So if you focus on the past, the past gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and you can't deal with the future, and you can't deal with the present because you're focusing on the past. What you think about expands and grows, taking on a life of its own. The direction this life takes could be positive or negative. You get to choose. And the Bible says what you choose to think about can foster joy, peace, happiness, or complete, or the complete opposite. And that's from Isaiah 7, 15. Okay. I mean, this is, all this is right in line with the Bible. Okay. Um, it says, feel good chemicals are released that make us feel peaceful and also promote healing. That's when we think about good things. Memory formation and keep in deep thinking, which increases intelligence when combined together. Okay. So good thoughts. Good thoughts make you feel good because it releases good chemicals into your body. Chemicals that bring peace, joy, happiness. And when that happens, it helps you to remember better and it helps you to think better because you can focus better. So what you think, what you say, and how you behave is all related. Okay? Um, I'm going to read one more scripture, and then I'm going to conclude for now. I'll go to another day for this, because, it, you know, this can go on, but it's very important, though. And that scripture says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thought. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Think about these things. And then it says, that are excellent and worthy of praise. That's from Philippians 4, 8. And that's the New Living Translation. So the translation is a little different, but anyway. It tells you to think on those good things. Because when you think on the right things, and then the right chemicals get released into your body, and then the right thoughts come, and then the right actions will follow, and the right words will come as a result. So we need to make sure we think right, speak right, and we will have right actions. And again, I'll go into this a little bit more on a later date. But anyway, the brain... This is the book is called Who Switched Off My Brain? Controlling Toxic Thoughts and Emotions. Very good book. Um, but it's really a book good for research and study like that. It's not such a like pleasant type reading book, but I, I enjoyed it uh, because I was doing research on, on my book. And it's right in line with the Word of God. So it is the truth. But if you want to change your behaviors, then you got to change what you think like, what you think about what you say, and then your behavior will change. Your future will change. Your destiny will change. Okay? So be blessed for today. And that's our words of hopefully some wisdom for someone today. And I will get in touch with you or see you tomorrow or later on in the week when we do another video. So we love you and have a blessed one.